Okay, this may be kind of a boring shot to most people, but that's kind of cool. I'm just testing the 55 to 200 millimeter lens with my Sony uh, A6500. And that on the skyline down there is Charlotte from about 50 miles away. So I'm just seeing the big buildings down there. And I'm not stand, I'm not on a really good tripod. This is kind of just a big monopod. I'm gonna pull back so you can see kind of what the real this is uh the widest it'll go. This is my backyard. I'll I'll shoot with the smaller lens that comes with the Sony package that I bought in a minute and show you kind of what everything looks like out here. But let me just jump back in again, see if it'll focus on that horizon. So yeah, a, a, a lot of times I can set it back here with my binoculars. If I go to a different part of my yard, kind of get that one tree. There's a tree to the left you can't see right now in the field of view, but I can actually see planes landing down at Douglas Airport, which is pretty cool. You can see them line up when you go down through there. But yeah, pretty nice field of view. Let me get the other lens, the wide angle lens that comes with this camera. I bought a two lens package and I also in, later bought a portrait lens, but here's the shot from the other one. This is the monopod I was using. That's our butterfly bush over there. And yeah, here's the full view when I stand and look down through there. So that's a comparison of what I see when I stand here compared to what I was seeing in the field of view for that 55 to uh, 200. And that's the furthest extent it will zoom in with this lens. I'll put, I can't remember what this lens is. It's one that came with the Alpha 6500. Let the white balance settle a little bit here. Kind of see what the yard looks like. Still a little weedy. This is October 18th, I think, 2018. You can see the little sedum mess and stuff on the ground. Got a lot of work to do going into the fall to get the yard back in shape. Pretty skies this morning though. Hey, I thought y'all would like to see that. That's just kind of how it works with uh, with these with this lens package. Got a few little roses still going. And here are the lenses I was shooting with this morning. So if you can see which ones I was using, uh, this is the long lens. This is the 55 to two, what 210? That's what it really is. 210. I kept kept saying 200. But that is the E-mount lens that I'm using with this Sony camera here, the A6500, which has been great. I Man, this has been a good little workhorse camera. And this is the wide angle lens that I use to shoot the photos that you saw this morning, or the video. I'm actually gonna include some photos at the end of this. I'm gonna talk about them just a little bit. Um, I, just, I just did some wide shots to show you first kind of wide shots of the environment I was shooting in and show you some close-up shots. I did the uh, Charlotte and I did some roses, some uh, a bird house and everything here. And then some uh, some birds, various birds. And some of, them, some of them have birds dive bombing in on them sometimes. There's birds hiding over in the corners or something that you don't see. It's kind of neat. Tufted titmouse mostly and uh, chickadees. So I thought you'd enjoy seeing just how these, how the long lens works for that kind of thing. I haven't done it in a good long while, uh, any commentary or anything about this camera, but for over a year, year and a half, I guess now, this has been the main camera that I'm using, the Sony Alpha 6500 for shooting the high quality video that I do, particularly in my freelance work. Um, videography you know for like all the work and work series that you've been seeing i've been sharing some of that on my channel and uh, i'm some kind of high on this a lot of people you know it gets pretty high marks there's there's better more expensive ways to go but if you're on a moderate budget the sony alpha 6500 really delivers especially if you got good glass to shoot through and these sony lenses are not bad at all peace to all who watch subscribe to the channel if you like